God damn it. Oh no, I don't have a key. I do not have a key to get through this door. I need a magic key to get the princess out. Oh shit. Well. <sighs> I wonder if the dragon comes back. No, I think the dragon's gone for good now. So all I gotta do is go back to Remolder, get a key. Son of a bitch. Is it even worth getting the fucking magic armor now? The trick it just feels like now it's it's going to be one of those things where the hero descends into some midlife crisis. Was any of this worthwhile? Oh my what have I been doing? What the fuck? The great part is, the trick with the green dragon is not to put him to sleep. Just constantly hit him with your broadsword and keep yourself healed. Well, it looks to me like putting him to sleep worked pretty fucking good, Mr. Fucking Walkthrough Writer. Oh my god. Can you imagine as well how bad the princess must be feeling? <laughs> Finally, someone comes along, kills the dragon, and then like, leaves because no, like, uh, I don't have. I've got to get a key. I don't have the key to your lock. <laughs> that is that is so the end of Robin Hood Men in Tights. Oh man, that's fucking bullshit. I hope the dragon at least respawns if I leave. If he's dead for good, I'm going to be really pissed. I'm happy to help him. <laughs> yeah, you put me up to this. You're the one that broke my fucking spirit in this game. <laughs> Usually it's Mike. I'd like to think we could develop a competition to see which one of us can break your spirit quickest. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty much that's pretty much what this is. Just a contest to see. Oh, where the fuck did it? Where the fuck am I now? In the the fuck? The fuck just happened? Something, something terrible just happened. Okay. How many magic keys am I supposed to buy before I head back? I like seven. <laughs> it's a very good number. Five magic keys is what we're supposed to have whenever we go back. So we're just going to buy five magic keys now. And then... And then we're going to go rescue the princess and take her back to the castle. This is bullshit. <laughs> See, you ruined it. We were supposed to be grinding for like three episodes. <laughs> <sighs> I, I'm sorry that I've got a desire to just get things done. <laughs> awesome. Maybe I'm just some kind of anti-RPG player. <laughs> well, you're you're definite. It's definitely very different from the rest of the geeks I usually play with, who try to, who try to like do absolutely nothing to help, <laughs> purposefully. Well, there's a more depressing thought. I've broken your spirit with this game by actually helping you. Yeah. Well, see, I was already under the impression that this game was pretty much designed to be grinded, and there was no, there was really nothing you could do about it. You had to get all the best equipment to move on, because everything was just made to be so hard. And then I find out that I'm totally fucking wrong. <laughs> Though I gotta tell you, this bridge is this like little land bridge is really aggravating with its encounter rate. Plus I forgot to hit the inn, so I'm gonna have to do that.
Yeah, that, that just seemed like every step. Just bam, another fight. Yeah. Which honestly, as far as like needing to level up goes, that's not terrible. Because I think we need to be at like level 15 to beat the game. I wouldn't really trust you at this point, Tim. Yeah, I wouldn't really trust this walkthrough either. Because it's like, run away from every encounter because you want to save your energy for the last fight. I highly doubt that now. <laughs> like, I question this. Like, maybe the person doing the walkthrough is just really bad at playing this game. I feel now we might have to come up with some bizarre challenge, like if there was some way to get your character to just slap the dragon with your dick rather than a sword, <laughs> yeah. to try and add a level of difficulty. <laughs> like go in, well you can't control what weapons you're armed with, once you buy a weapon you're equipped with it, so I can't, I can't disarm myself to fight the dragon. And to be honest with you, if I tried to use my, my spells, I would probably kill it faster. <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe we'll just resort to uh, letting him have three free hits <laughs> when the fight starts. Well, then then he will absolutely kill me, because he breathes fire, and that's really, really, really effective. But putting him to sleep and making it so he can't breathe fire pretty much did him in. It's almost like it's a game that rewards tactics. Yeah. You wouldn't know that, though. Alright, let's go back and see if the dragon's alive again. If he is, we could at least grind the dragon for gold later by going out and coming back in and killing him. Now that we know he's fucking easy. Either that or that was a fluke. Hey, he... are you? What? You found your silver lining for this one, at least. Yeah. Alright, he doesn't come back. <laughs> he doesn't come back. Oh my god. The dragon's fucking dead. We fucking... <sighs> god. Okay. Well, let's just rescue the princess and fucking... Whatever. Fucking whatever about Dennis Destiny and shit. I don't fucking know. <sighs> yeah, I rescued you. But it's a bittersweet victory. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, already got the hero's midlife crisis going on. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's starting already. That's kind of cute, his, uh, his sprite changes whenever he's carrying the princess. Look at that. He just actually, uh... Rather nice bit of attention to detail. Yeah. But then whenever a fight starts, he just, like, throws her against the wall. <laughs> Excuse me, princess, but I have to take this. <laughs> you thought they could have done something whereby you might take more damage while... Because you've got to defend her as well, or something. Yeah. Okay, now that we're back to the castle. <clears throat> I hope those weren't, weren't a one... Shit, they are a one use. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, well. I think we used them in a good time. <sighs> Another thing the walkthrough failed to mention was that they were a one use item. The wings. That we just got and just squandered. Okay. Well, yeah, but I mean, when else would you use them? Oh, God. <laughs> well, now it looks like I've got a girlfriend. I don't know, it sounds more like an arranged marriage at this point. <laughs> well, 
honestly, uh, she was she was the one that proclaimed her uh, undying affections for me. Not so much the king saying uh, anything about it. Though he's probably just standing there like, you do not want to, you don't want to be involved with adventurers. Just, just trust me on this one, you don't. <laughs> Although, in fairness, I, I'd probably be quite impressed, like, with someone who saved me from a dragon. Yeah. I'd probably be kinder to them after that. <laughs> okay, so now... Shit. I guess now we're just supposed to unlock doors for treasure. Now we're gonna. Now we're robbing the royal treasury. It appears, but they didn't give us a reward, so fuck them. Was the princess not reward enough for you then? <laughs> well, to be honest with you, I can't. I can't buy shit with princess's love. Okay. Her love doesn't. But surely you're ultimately going to be king. Yeah. <laughs> it's like her love doesn't put food in the table. Hold on. There's there's some shit going on here. Oh, okay. Is that green man trapped over there? What in b behind the? Oh, oh, the green man behind the counter. Yeah, and there's a there's a knight. Yeah, kind of top right. Yeah, there's a knight that's trapped as well. I'm gonna go try and talk to them. I have to unlock this door here. Okay. Talk to this gentleman. See what he has to say. Oh, now I can buy magic keys here. For a much higher price, but... Now, now I'll stick with the uh, cheaper magic keys. Thank you very much. Okay, now this... This bit's gonna suck, because I don't know how much damage I'm gonna take per step. Oh, damn! I take 25 hit points of damage per fucking step on these things. Oh. Or 15. Jesus fucking... This goddamn walkthrough, dude. Okay. Yeah. 15 points of damage each. Good effort, though. Fucking walkthrough. Alright. Alright. you know what that is that you were meant to have been walking over? No. I have no clue. Alright, so we've, we've returned Gwainlin. So now I guess it's time to get the magic armor we were talking about getting before, so... Jesus. It feels so cheap now. It feels so cheap to just do what we're supposed to do. Because <laughs> you never know if we actually need to do it. Well, we could always just go kill the other dragon. Uh, we're not on the dragon yet. We have to go to a place called Garen's Grave. That's the next bit. And why does this clearly amateurish walk through? Think you need this armor? <laughs> because it's powerful, okay? Well, you want to just go for it and go for Garen's grave now? You just killed a dragon, barely taking any damage. I don't think you need better armor. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, point taken. Let's head to Garen's grave and see what fucking happens. One of these times, we will die. And then the walkthrough will be like, fucking told you so, dude. You should add the magic armor and been at level 13. What the fuck's wrong with you?
Yeah, but I, I think we still have more points than the walkthrough does in this argument. <laughs> yeah, because we killed a fucking dragon without the magic armor. I'm like, ah, uh, don't, don't use sleep on the dragon, because why not? I murdered it before it woke up. We have to power up, though, here real quick. Okay, max HP's good. Oh god. So yeah, fuck it. We're just gonna move on in the game. I think I think everybody that's been on this journey with me, that has been forced to make conversation because of all the terrible amounts of grinding I thought I've had to do, they're they're not gonna be very happy about this. <laughs> they're like, oh, now you're just gonna plow through it. Well, yeah, fucking. Nobody ever insisted that I do so before. <laughs> well, there you are. I'm clearly a maverick. Don't play by the rules, but get results. <laughs> yep. Holy shit. Okay. I'd actually just love to see the look on their faces when you say, well, well Dave was with me this time and he told me to go kill the dragon. And I did. Yeah, I just... I don't know why I bothered listening to you guys with this <laughs> grinding nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I mean, nobody encouraged me to just go go for it, you know? I always thought, in a way, that was kind of part of the fun. Just have a go, see if you can do it. And then more... Then when you can't do it, you go off and grind... To get to the point so you can? Well, we were kind of in the rare position where we actually didn't have anything to lose at that point. Because, like, usually it was a lot of... A lot of grinding was involved. A lot of gold had, you know, come into... We've come into having a lot of gold. And now... Oh, God damn it! Hold on. There, there's really. Why, why did he have me come in, come in here, and not just take the fucking treasure chest? Get out of my way! I want that torch. Come on. What the fuck? Whoa. Are you watching that guard right there? They just disappeared. Oh yeah. In the, in so the... he just phase out of existence. Yeah. yeah. He's not doing it anymore, though. Okay, so we're supposed to use a key here, and that's our last key, so hopefully that's making it good. Wow, that was that was useless. There was no fucking reason for that. Did the walkthrough tell you to do that? Yes. I I should this learn. He's a dick. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. It's like they'll both tell you, "I'm too busy." Ask the other guard, bastard. Smiley face. It almost feels like I'm a better walkthrough for this game, and I've never seen it, heard of it, or played it. Okay, so we are right in front of Garen's grave. Oh, what the fuck? Before you enter the grave, make sure you have a few magic keys on hand. Dude, you made me use all of them! Oh my fucking god. All right, so now we have oh, to. You go should have got seven, Tim. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna get a lot. Oh, I can't go back. Ah, oh, okay, there we go. Well, it doesn't really matter because I can just do that and be out of the town. But I don't want to buy. Th I can't actually. No, I can't buy them in uh, Tantagle 
or Tantagel or whatever, however you pronounce the name of the castle, because you have to use one to unlock the door that reveals where the other magic key shop is. So I have to go back through a molder. Well, I suppose you might get to level up on the way at least. Yeah. One one can only question if we'll get enough gold for that magic armor on the way over. <laughs> I very much doubt it though. Holy fuck. I can't believe we killed that dragon, man. <laughs> Bizarrely, I was just thinking, I kind of expect if you were to go to the bottom of that walkthrough, there'd be a little smiley face, and then like, ha, actually you could have done all of this from level 5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we get through Garen's, what's supposed to be a Garen's grave, without any trouble... I'm definitely going to be angry. What's meant to be in this grave, anyway? Is that another dragon, or something I... else? Um... Okay, so there's a cursed belt that we don't want to equip. And there's a harp that we do want to get. But... I don't want to alarm you, Tim, but I think we actually have a viewer. What? Oh, yeah, 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 it's my buddy Killian. He's uh he's in a few of these. Hello, Killian. So if you can't tell, Killian, uh, we're playing Dragon Warrior. Oh, we're doing pretty good actually. I'm a little discouraged because Dave here forced me to uh, progress in this game, <laughs> and that's not what this game's about. So. So I'm a little depressed. Apparently this is a game about the joy of never getting anywhere in life. And I've ruined that by <laughs> helping him advance the plot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so we have at least discovered that whatever walkthrough Tim's working from was written by a moron. <laughs> yeah. I feel if nothing else you should put some kind of warning up <laughs> for anyone else who might ever want to play this game ever again not to use that walkthrough. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think it's like the only one. No, it's not the only one, but it's the only like clear one. Because the other one I was looking at was like a big block of text. Just like, ugh. Section out your walkthroughs, guys. Section them out. And also, learn how to play the game. Yeah, like if you if you write a walkthrough for the express purpose of sharing every single piece of dialogue and... Like, every single thing that every NPC ever says, you're doing it wrong, because that's not what a walkthrough is for. That's what playing the game is for. If somebody wants a walkthrough, then they want to know how to get from point A to point B, C, D, and F, like, quickly as possible. Now, well, that sounds more like, you know, the book of the game. Yeah. 
All right, so now we're just going to get a massive magic key so we're not left unaware anymore. And I actually just bought... Oh, no. No, looks like you can only hold six magic keys at one time. How do you like that? Well, I wanted seven, so... I, I, I Very disappointed with I, that. I tried, man. I tried for seven. I tried to go with your suggestion. As your suggestions have been working so far. I can't believe metal scorpions exist in the wild in this world. That's horrifying. Is there any kind of explanation where they're meant to... You know, are they robots, or...? I, I don't think so. I don't think there's any explanation as to, like... Because remember, this is the game where you get attacked by, like, blue and red slime. Oh, yeah, but, I mean, that happens all the time. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm a little more afraid of your country than I was before. <laughs> If, if being attacked by slime is just a regular thing. Yeah, you, you get used to it after a while, you know. <laughs> barely notice. <laughs> it's part of some government program to issue everyone with broadswords. <laughs> See, at least your government's doing something about the issues that are appearing. Oh no, I've got to take that back then. I don't like our government getting any credit for anything even slightly useful. <laughs> Very nice. It's very odd, like, I know you've noticed how, like, we really don't progress very quickly in this game, but I still enjoy it very much. Why do you think maybe there's a certain therapeutic value to the repetition, then? Or... Maybe. Maybe I just like leveling up. I think sometimes maybe that's part of my problem, because you know in games like GTA you can just roam around and dick about, you know, steal a car, jump off a cliff, do whatever you want really. And I find that can be fun for a little bit, but I don't seem able to just dick about on something like that as long as a lot of other people. I kind of always feel the need for some kind of focus or mission or purpose. Right. Which is probably why I'm so miserable in my own life. Because <laughs> you just don't have a goal or a purpose. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, if I were to wake up tomorrow, and instead of just, like, you know, pop into the pub to watch the rugby, someone were to come to me, say, this is the Master Sword, we need you to kill a dragon to save a princess... I'd shit myself, but I'd be happy because I'd have something to do. <laughs> well, uh, isn't uh, isn't the sofa reviews uh, gaining a little bit of notoriety all of a sudden? Yeah, it does seem to be. It's mainly because most people, or at least some people, seem to quite strongly disagree with my opinions on Warhammer. Right. Because... Like, we did the Ultramarines movie review, and there's 52 comments on it now. <laughs> wow. Okay. See, that's the, that's the thing with uh, reviewers. I think most of, most of our fan base shows up just to disagree with us. Like, I did a review. Like, the one review I did... Um... 
Oh, killing, I'll be right back. But yes, yes, the enemies, they've run away from us quite frequently because of how powerful we are. But, uh, what I was saying was, uh, I don't actually... Oh, uh, about people disagreeing with us. Right now, one, my one video that's... Because every... Like, my, my uh, videos are, like, w flavor of the week type things where one will be really popular and it'll fade back into obscurity in a couple months. But right now, like, the really famous one is I did a I did an Echelon Book 1 review. And I do not like the game at all. I just did not enjoy it. I didn't... I didn't get any type of pleasure out of playing the game whatsoever. It just... It just felt like it was wasting my time. And it turns out that one of my biggest issues was the speed at which the game ran. Like, how slowly... Uh, how slowly my character moved. Just made me feel like, you know, I... I... It, well, you know how games with a really slow pace have a tendency to be really boring, right? I I'm sure you know that. Yeah, you you need something to hook you and keep you interested. Yeah. It's like with some films as well. I don't mind a bit of time taken on developing things, but you can go too far the other way with that as well. Oh, what is this? Gwalen's <laughs> The Princess's Love is an item in your inventory. <laughs> what? I'm just wasting all the torches because they're taking up valuable inventory space that we don't we don't need the torches either because we have this. But I need to I need to figure out what um what Gwenlin's love actually does. That's really weird. Okay. Now does we're it not have anything about it in the walkthrough then. Um. It didn't even mention it. Didn't even bother to mention it. I would assume, therefore, it's incredibly useful, and I'd save it for the final boss. <laughs> Probably. Okay. I'm trying to find a, a map for Garen's grave here. Okay, so it's very, very small and straightforward. And... Okay. Okay. Wow, okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> just keep saying okay. Just trying to figure out a route here. Because these maps are just... Or these, these caves are really weird. And I don't really like bothering with them too terribly much. I just kind of want to plow through the cave and be done with it. <laughs>